two teens killed in an ATV crash in Solano County. It happened yesterday afternoon. The CHP says their vehicle went off the roadway and struck a tree. Reporter Leanne Denier was at the vigil where friends and family gathered to remember the boys. These great kids, I wish I still could stand, get to know you guys. A community is coming together to say goodbye. Two teenagers, 14-year-old Noah and 14-year-old Michael, died in an ATV crash the day before. They were students at Winters High School. Cry when you want to cry. There's no timeline, and, and you know we're here for you. And Noah's mom shared these photos of her son, saying she was at a loss for words, but that her son was everything, a great kid, a great son and brother, just beginning his high school sports career. I'm just trying to do my part, you know, what I can for the family. Miguel Fierro's cut Michael's hair for years. I got to cut his hair for his big days, which is, you know, middle school promotion, birthday parties, um, anything, you know, any big day I got to spend with him. The barbers at the shop will donate profits from haircuts to Michael's family on Monday. They're taking donations, too. He made an impact in my life, so it's the least I could do. I'm sorry for their loss. You know, my condolences go out to all the families affected. Um, I just happen to have that bond with Michael. But for those who loved Michael and Noah, this is going to take time. We just want to keep him in prayer, you know, and 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 just remember uh, how he lived and not how he died, you know. We keep, kind of keep focus on that, but we want to remember how he lived and enjoy that. If we're going to cry about something, let's cry about the way he lived. Again, that was Leanne Denyer reporting. The CHP says the cause of the crash is under investigation. Drugs nor alcohol do not appear to be factors.